Hello again and welcome to Ndu Dubai Fafa. Hello everyone, my name is Fafa Gilbert and welcome to my creative African cooking channel in Dudu by Fafa. And thank you again for joining me for another exciting episode. And as part of my Ghana series, I do have Akbadechi, which is actually tilapia soup. And this is mom's way. Now, of course, when I went to Ghana, I just wanted to make things traditionally. So I had to get the cold pot, put the coal in, add the kerosene, light it. Yes, now it's lighted. I fan it. You know, it's just like, I was just going back to basics. Anyway, so now that I've got my coal lighted, I've got my Ghanaian wok in there, added my oil. And I'm actually adding some sliced onions and I'm just going to fry this to allow some infusions to go through <laughs> So now I'm actually going to fry this for about two to three minutes yet again to allow the infusion to take place and then I'm adding my petit bell chilies or quackbushito as we say it. You can use any other green chilies, not a problem. And then you fry this for another two minutes yet again allowing the infusion to take place. Now to this I'm actually adding my tomato puree that I've actually mixed with a little bit of water and I'm actually going to cook this till it's beautiful. As I've always said with cooking, you build upon your flavors. So at this point I'm actually adding in my holy grill of my blended ginger aniseed garlic and onion to this and i'm actually mixing this and i'm going to fry it for another three to four minutes when i say infusion it be jankasa <laughs> now the beauty of the sun ripened Ghanaian tomatoes of another level so i should just got a couple that have blended and i've actually just added to this mixture so now i'm going to allow this to fry and actually form this marmalady taste and infuse it with flavors now as you would notice yet again i've actually omitted using stock cube but you can and you can actually Actually add your shrimp powder if you choose so now I have that beautiful ma'am lady taste and I'm actually refreshing this flavor by adding some more of my blended ginger garlic aniseed and onion mixture just so it refreshes it because when it comes to fish soup it actually needs to be spicy and I love infusing my ginger into that so yet again I'm cooking it gently for another five to six minutes and at this point mom joined me so mom was like oh yes let's actually rinse that blender because it again she's an advocate of no wasted of food <laughs> Using the Ghanaian salt, what I did was actually add it with a bit of water. So I'm now adding some salty water to this. And because A, I needed the water anyway to actually make the soup a little bit lighter. But secondly, also add my flavor to it. You can add your salt as normally as you do. It's not a problem. But it's just with the Ghanaian salt because they're big rock hard ones. Definitely one actually needs to do this. So here I've actually added my salty water and I'm just going to mix everything till it's well combined now. <laughs> Now you can only imagine the type of conversations we're having, but mom surprised me with this. She then added some gari to the soup to actually thicken the soup up. I know gari, I know. <laughs> I was like, yes, mama. And I love that, learning new things. So yes, you should go and add some gari to your soup if it's just too light. <laughs> now we're actually adding the fish pieces to the soup now this is just going to cook just gently and nicely and beautiful and the flavor in that fish because it's so fresh it's not like the ones that we get here it's so fresh and the flavor alone is just incredible so the soup is actually going to infuse all its flavors into the fish and the fish is also going to spit its flavor into the soup just the infusion infusion i'm a grown like the shark no game I guess she was small, but but then Jack a feeble bank cable. That's it. Look at that. And I do love these little tricks that she does, you know, taking the um pot out of the heat and shaking it and putting it back, you know, because she doesn't want to break the fish. She wants the fish whole. So she's just so tender with it. Even look at the way she's using with the ladle, like just being like, hey, rabba kache. <laughs> And so yes, at this point, mom is just checking to make sure that the fish is cooked just perfectly because it cannot be overcooked. It has to be moist. It has to just be beautiful. 
Now at this point, I wanted to be creative, so I added some Guinean basil, which is known as a kuklofuchi or a kukumesa. Yes, we added that to it. Mom was like, no, I don't want to. I was like, mom, trust me, it would work. So yes, we compromised, we added a little bit. And then, of course, we added our fresh bakbushi to again, or petit bell chilies for that little decoration and that extra kick. And here we have our pièce de résistance, la. I know. I hope you're inspired to try this recipe. And definitely, I'll be leaving the list of ingredients, including the measurements and recipe on my blog in dubaifafa.blogspot.com so do check it out i'm also on facebook instagram and twitter as in dubaifafa so do pass by and say hi now until next time take care of you be you be nice be beautiful and enjoy your life i love you